Hello everyone. Welcome to session 38 of security testing video series. In this session, I am going to explain about attack surface and attack vector. So let's get started. So I'm going to explain two terms in this session. One is attack surface. Another one is attack vector. So before I explain these two terms in security testing point of view, let me give a real world example. Okay, for understanding these two terms in a better way, let me first give you a real world example. Let's say guys, there is a house. Okay, there is a house guys. This house has a door. And this house also has a some windows guys. Okay, there are two windows. Let's say now guys, there is a thief. This thief want to rob this house. This particular thief want to rob this house. So this thief may think of a lot of ways in robbing this. Okay. One of the ways like he can break the lock of this door. Okay. He can break completely break the lock of this uh, door and enter into the house. And other way for this particular thief is he can remove this uh, nuts and bolts of this particular window and enter into the house for robbing purpose. Similarly, he can remove the nuts and bolts of another window. Okay, and he can enter into the house or he can put a hole on your wall. Okay, at this particular house wall, he can put a hole from this hole. Also, he can enter into the house and drop. So there are several ways for this particular thief to enter into this house for robbing purpose. So if I have to explain in this real world example, what is attack surface and attack vector here each and every way that a thief uses for entering into the house is a attack vector guys. This is attack vector. Okay, this is another way where the thief can use for entering into the house and robbing. The main door is another way. Okay, so already three ways. So putting a hole is another way. This is another act attack vector. So each and every way is called as an attack vector. Okay, each and every way used by the thief for attacking and robbing the house is nothing but the attack vector. Now, what is attack surface then? What is attack surface? Attack surface is nothing but is equal to all attack vectors. Okay. All the attack vectors together on of this particular house. Okay. All the attack vectors that can be used by the thief for entering into the house is known as attack surface. So when you are saying attack surface, all the ways that the thief can Okay, all the ways that the thief can use for entering into the house for attacking purpose or robbing purpose is known as attack surface guys. Each and every way is an attack vector. Hope you got the difference and uh, hope you got the idea what is attack vector and attack surface now, right? Now let's understand this attack surface and attack vector in security testing point of view. Let me take you to the demo web application where you can, where I can explain. So this is the demo.testify.net guys. Uh, this is a demo application where we can practice security testing. Okay, we should not be randomly practicing secu uh, security testing on some random websites, okay, which you don't have permission for. So that that is illegal guys and also it may put you in jail. Okay, you may end up in jail guys if you do so. So only practice security testing on the websites like demo.testify.net which are open for the security testing. Now in this website guys, in this website, there is a search box field, right? There is a search box field. So here I am trying to inject as a hacker or attacker. I am trying to inject some JavaScript untrusted JavaScript. I'm going to inject when I click on go here. What's happening guys, your website got hacked is kind of displaying. That means this is one way a hacker or attacker can use this search text box field is one way a hacker or attacker can use for injecting the JavaScript code and getting benefited, right? So this is one attack vector. This search box field is one attack vector. Similarly, if you go to this feedback, okay, one of the pages on this application feedback page, and here your name text box field is there. Into this, I am injecting the same JavaScript code, untrusted JavaScript code as a hacker, and clicking on the submit button. Here also, I am getting the same way. That means your search box field is an attack vector. One of the attack vector is search box field. Similarly, one of the attack vector is your name. Similarly, there are many other fields on this uh, application. There are many other places on this application where the hacker or attacker can inject this uh, untrusted JavaScript code and attack, right? So all those things are nothing but 
the attack surface all the attack vectors you are already explained right attack surface is equal to all the attack vectors all the places where the all the places where the attacker can inject the javascript code or he can attack right for some purpose okay together they are all called as attack surface guys for this particular javascript code injection search box field is one attack vector your name is one attack vector he can also enter into the email address field as an attack vector subject also okay all these fields all the text fields are nothing but the each and every text field individually is a attack vector but together okay together all the fields on this not only in this page guys all the pages on this application wherever the hacker or attacker can try injecting this code okay javascript untrusted javascript code for getting benefited or attacking right that is nothing but total surface okay attack surface total surface total base or places where the attacker can attack for this kind of thing is nothing but the attack surface for this javascript code injection so different vulnerabilities uh, have different uh, okay you know right different places to work with so for this code injection okay there are several text field text box fields are nothing but the attack surface here simple right so guys hope you understood what is attack surface and attack vector each and every way for the hacker to try out or attack or hack right that is attack vector all these places where the hacker or attacker can try right for attacking or hacking purpose together is known as attack surface so hope guys you understood now what is attack vector and attack surface the ways to attack is each and every way is attack vector all this ways together is known as a attack surface that that's simple it is guys okay so that's it guys uh, that's all about this session thank you bye